What's up? Welcome back and welcome to house number two of our new series where we build real houses in Minecraft to improve our Minecraft building. That's the key. That's the goal. And so if you didn't see the first episode, it was a long ramble. It's throw it on 2x speed if you do watch it. But as I explained in that one, there's three stages I'm going to do for these videos. Stage one, highlight reel of the building. Stage two, two parts. We're going to talk about the primary angle because once again, when you're looking at a photo of a real house, oftentimes you only get one angle and I call that the primary angle. And then we're going to dive into part two of stage two, which is reflecting the rest of the architectural details of the building into the rest of the house. Then finally, stage three, because you know, Oh, I love survival Minecraft building for the villagers all that we're gonna build a survival interior so yes if you're new that's the plan and for my cowcraft people what's up regardless let's get to it starting with stage one the highlights of this building which again I would define as an eco greenery based building in a ironically minecraft blocky type shape thus part of the reason why we built it because it's kind of perfect and in general wooden based modern house kind of that new form modern and so the highlights of this build you may notice straight away coming from this primary angle that we'll talk about in just a moment we got the black trim going all the way around and that kind of secures the overall shape of the build on top of that we have a bunch of different rectangular block type shapes plugged in some straight from the image others we sort of came up with on our own and ran away with it and now i do want to mention right now there's three key takeaways i want you to learn from this video hopefully or at least they were the key takeaways while i built this specific house that being trial and error keep it simple in the reflecting and always always add that greenery we'll talk more about it in a little bit but i wanted to mention that because a highlight of this build is the greenery extending across the different porches well i guess they're not porches but balconies areas throughout the ground and rooftop kind of terraces especially this one this one this one is a favorite other quick details to mention once again those rooftop terraces using the campfires really matches with the image perfectly the holes in the wall the grids I, I like that detail and that's actually simply done with stairs right here you can see all up in the pattern and finally a low-key detail that i really do like adding in that chiseled and that quartz bricks so that it wasn't all flat smooth quartz I feel like that was a game changer within the build and so boom stage one that's the highlights and we'll talk more about them as well as the interior we'll get to that later now stage two primary angle and for this i'm just gonna literally post up at what's basically the primary angle boom just like that that's the one that's the money shot and so you'll start to notice these trends as i do more of these videos but first things first always we check the primary angle and we decide where we want to start so here you go looking at the image right here where would you start if you recall me mentioning about a minute ago we got we the got black, the black trim, trim going, going all, all the way, the way around. around since that sort of serves as a foundation that's where boom I would say we start and so let's jump into the live replay recording of me building this house in which case that's where i started this angle this wall with the black trim to start and since it's easier to see now something critical i want to mention is we have the black trim right to add depth into the build rather than having this white quartz right on the edge we dropped it back one so that there was that block of depth because once again even if that wasn't exactly on par with the real house the whole goal is to get better at building in minecraft and adding that depth will just about always improve and look good and that's why you'll see we have the block overhang right here we have the blocks overhanging right here and down here sorry i mean more like right here and overhanging throughout and that shape that depth really was the key to this build but trust me sorting out that depth sorting out these shapes did not come with complete ease which is where the trial and error comes into play and that's where you'll see a lot of it going on right now with a few specific aspects of the build being especially with the scale of this one the windows were a big trial and error and the rest of the build the reflecting architectural details so if there's one takeaway that i've stressed on my channel before and getting better at building is to just place blocks just place blocks you can always remove them you can always switch them and you can always extend them and so let's talk about the scale of this primary angle section right here because this was a big moment we're building we're building boom notice that the glass is just too thin it's just too thin right there we have the front door right here we know that because of the stairs but we don't really know what's over there or how far that section extends and so you'll see boom I ended up shifting it a good amount of blocks which made all the difference and aligned it onto the proper scale now luckily I like how it turned out after one just shift but trial and error if it didn't work on that one we would have 
shifted back and forth. Windows, windows were another big, ooh. Whew. There was some real ugly points of the build. Honestly, I, I, I sort of hated this house up until I put the greenery in. But fixing the windows did that, that help. And the result you're seeing is black next to gray. Black, gray, black, gray. The windows on the house in the real life picture look really cool. They were hard to replicate in Minecraft and both clear glass and white stained glass. Just, it didn't, it didn't do the trick. But again, trial and error. And so that's enough of the primary angle. We got that established, it worked out. The rest of the build, again, overkill, but it came down to trial and error. Like, look at the building process that I went through. We switched up these walls a good amount. And so as I mentioned, a key takeaway I want to stress is coming back to this primary angle right here. On the second floor, right? We got the wood section, we got the white section. Keep it simple, extend those across. In doing so, I feel like it turned out decent enough. I don't love this side of the house, but I think having to add in this section on our own because it's right next to the front door, as well as another extension area right here, made it difficult and we did the best uh, with what we could. And the real key difference is adding in all the different textures on the side of the wall because I couldn't have it just straight spruce i couldn't do it but i do like this angle back here and that comes from boom the spruce extending all the way across and boom the white section extending all the way in from there all we had to do was mirror this sort of detail onto this section right here in a smaller scale pop a little window in obstru obstru obstruding is that the word is that how you say it to obstrude to obstrude out all right, it's, you know, it's like popped out. I forget words, all you know this, you know this. And so in keeping it simple and extending what we knew was likely to be the situation with the house, with that spruce extending all the way across and the white right here extending all the way through, in keeping it simple, it worked out well. And final bonus part that I already mentioned, but I wanna mention again because it is the most critical aspect of this build, is the importance of the greenery in this one. I mean, look at this and in a simple flash moment boom look at how empty flat and terrible it could be and what it was for so long i'm telling you i hated the house for most of the time that's what happens so two points to take away there one keep on building because if I've learned anything is for most of the time I'm building the house does not look good and is until the end so get to the end and two Add in that greenery, Ooh, especially, oh my, oh my gosh. This is literally the greatest addition to the game ever, ever, are the glow berries. That detail alone is next level. Just put that on every single build you ever build ever again. Trust me, trust me. I know I am, I know I am. But now to wrap things up, let's go to stage three and let's plug in a survival friendly interior, which means sticking out. Don't worry, we have nether portal on here now. And survival base friendly interior, which our trusty sticky note tells us. I mean, I didn't mention nether port. Well, how do I not have someone put in it? Who is in charge of this nether portal? But yes, a bed for spawn, storage for chests, smelting for furnaces, diamond mine, enchantment table, brewing station, wall, depending on the base, your nether portal, and then farms. Cows, sugarcane, wheat, and wood if you need them. Again, depends on the base, like a wood farm I would put outside, but yes. I'm gonna build this in off camera, but I do wanna mention one thing. One thing you should do with these interiors, these survival interiors, not only for the fun of it, but to keep with the theme of improving your building is match up the survival needs with a real world usage. For example, this is the front entrance, which I, I don't actually have a door. I would put a door right here if it was survival Minecraft. Don't worry, we're, we're safe. Nope, yep, you convinced me, yep. We gotta have the door. Let's just do that real quick. Plug this like that. Let's do a little bit of this right here. Mm-hmm. That works. Oh, all this really needs is this. And then this right here. Mm-hmm. And now we got the front door. Boom. Okay, now we're safe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom. Now we're safe. But yes, this is our front entrance. And so, as I was saying, a real world usage. Don't put a bed right here. Okay? That's not the bedroom. That is not where the bedroom will be. Point being, section off these areas, if you can, into different living 
areas such as you would have in a house. For example, let's throw it down. Foyer. This is a nice open area. First off, we got the upstairs going up there. This is likely to have your TV or your living area. Now, being a survival base and knowing we need quite a little bit of space for an enchanting table, I'd go like this. Cut, 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 cut. Enchanting table, bookshelves, max them out. But instead of maxing them out in this direction, what we can do is, this is a nice little window right here. So we can go like this, boom, take it around like this, and then kind of have it boom, boom, like this. Maybe one more, cut out two if we can, drop in another, pull, let's say this right here, or a smoother, different texture block. We can have that right there, and then we can mm, tinted glass. I'm not even sure what tinted glass is, but let's try it. Boom, massive TV. And now let's say you put a chair right here. First off, we also gotta switch this floor out now. In fact, we could have matched it with this. I got it, I got it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Take it around, take it around, take it around. Smooth stone back in, and boom. Those are stairs out. One more right there, and now you got a TV right in place. And since we're at the enchanting table, we're gonna need an anvil, so perfect slot in an anvil, boom! Hmm. And of course, make sure we're at 30, which we are. Might be able to cut out one more. Yep. Get a chest or two in, and then get an elevated table in right here that they can catch the edge of the TV back over here. Dum dum dum. Simple chairs. Na, na, na. What are we watching? And boom, just like that, you got a kind of living area that's still functional as a enchanting area. I know it's not the most comfy area, but you know, you get the you get the point. And it works. And even better, this table right here that obviously has either, you know, some cooked chicken or, or a, you know, coffee pot right there. Yeah, cooked chicken. That's the move. What that does is it flows us perfectly into the corner right here where we can put the kitchen. And what might we put in the kitchen? But, I mean, we're already going to have sinks, so make the kitchen the brewing area. Boom! But yes, that's the idea. I'll build the rest up right now, and we'll do a quicker version of this stage three. Bah. And bam! Interior is in place. All right, let's take a look and we're in shaders for right now And you know what rather than just walking through well, I'll take a little little walk through peak right here Is there something what was that? Whoa, I thought that was a ghost. That was terrifying. Do you see this look what what what? <gasps> anyway stairs up by the way to this uh, area over here Which we'll get to in a little bit and then stairs up to the top porch but instead i would rather do a little bit of a before and after type style let's 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 look at it that way boom starting with the foyer and this is where we quickly jump into the nether portal conversation which actually i'm about it i gotta pop back in right here, here there's two spots we could place this nether portal right we could place it down here uh, on the first floor you'll also notice the diamond mine is right there or we could place it if you might have seen on the second floor up here now, a cool thing is, I personally love seeing the nether portal through the window. I don't know, it looks awesome to me. In terms of survival Minecraft, obviously real house-wise, that's not really realistic, but uh, mm -hmm. I guess neither a nether portal, so yes. Although you can see it through that window too, but still that was one of the cool parts about this being right up against that window and kind of highlighted there the key thing about the nether portal that i want to stress is the noise the noise the noise i mean i'm sure you hear it right now vroom, 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 vroom. and so having it on the first floor right next to the rest of our base because we got storage we got you know brewing we got enchanting Every, everything's kind of on that wow that's zoomed in anyways having the nether portal on the first floor gives us easy access to our base but it's also loud so i went ahead and gave us both options of having it up here kind of by the bedroom but we're supposed to be exploring before and after style okay back to it the point is that's what i would consider uh when adding in the nether portal again front and central but way loud or a little bit off top and a little less loud and personally i would go with the top one by the way just saying but here's the foyer and that's why you have these coat racks kind of blocking the nether portal so it's not too intrusive and a crafting table some other details just to you know polish it up small house so we can look across but i do want to go straight over to the kitchen because that's where we left off and the kitchen 
looks like this where we got our brewing stands ready to go cauldrons and as always an infinity water source so that we can fill our cauldrons because we think ahead here but yes switched up the floor added in some stone details for the cabinets type details with a little bit of wood and the greenery always add that greenery and of course a couple furnaces as ovens even though we'll have a separate smelting area you'll see in a moment but it's a kitchen so you got to have them and then obviously we have to have my favorite detail always that i always need in my kitchens the refrigerator that gives us food gotta have it Mm -hmm. backing up we got a dining room table and then we got the storage right here now this storage was intended to be sort of like a shelving unit but based on the design honestly it doesn't it doesn't fit that perfectly but you know you get the point and we get plenty of storage on the first floor enchanting wrapped up we got a little bit of seating and then again that diamond mine as i mentioned which this would be your water elevator right here because we love our water elevators mm -hmm. and then right here this is where you would drop down and just chests all over the place just you know for when you need those resources at different times you know throw a pickaxe in there mm -mm. torches torches i hear that nether portal mm -mm. but anyways let's walk upstairs by the way everything is lit up with lanterns hanging off uh some chains at different points as well make sure you get those light levels though i guess in 1.18 that's not going to be that big of a problem huh anyways second floor and again back to before and after the spruce section that that rectangular section that highlights itself i always sort of knew that i wanted that to be the bedroom and so we plug the bed in it's got a backdrop with plants and then it looks out the window so that's a cool view and then right behind it we got more storage because honestly survival minecraft you can always use more storage then walking throughout we have a little bit of aesthetics with the table and the couch detail but also this is a smelting crafting table hidden underneath there just as you need it and so yes yeah, smelting all covered and it's a cool looking area we have this table sort of cut out so that we can walk out to our patio out here honestly i didn't do any details with it but it's really just it's a cool detail for the actual house and as a Pretty sweet view. As a custom mountain, by the way, don't worry. Mm -hmm. We don't got 1.18 yet, so I had to do it. But yes, as we walk back inside and go up this final staircase, uh, leading to the rooftop, it's the same sort of idea. There's not many useful details up in here. You could add some, but it's more just for aesthetics. And once again, Queen's Gambit, I have, it's, it's kind of like chess tables, but almost not really. I don't know, it's some sort of game. Let's put it at that. And let's put it at Queen's Gambit. Chess. By the way, I love that show. Love that show. But yes, that's the interior and stage three complete. Also, I switched the TV to white glass. It made way, way, way more sense. And peep the little ender chests, all your survival details that you need. All set in stone and boom that right there is house number two complete as i mentioned in the last video i wish i could do block by block tutorials one day we will sort that out i believe for those that didn't hear me say that i'm gonna build a team that's a good that's the goal because i definitely cannot do that alone but for now we're getting back into the swing of things and yes let me know if you enjoy this series if you learn anything if there's too much rambling just let me just let me know leave a like a dislike i just want to know and more to come all right that's it for this one. Thanks for coming.